Welcome to the CM Builder tutorial video covering the Drawing Overlay tool. In this tutorial, you will learn how to import an image or drawing into CM Builder and position it accurately on your sitemap. To start, we recommend using the satellite view with the surrounding buildings turned off to clear the reference points. Click the Drawing Overlay button in the command dock on the left, and a new window will open on the right-hand side. Click Upload File to select a file from your computer which can be a PDF, PNG, JPEG, or JPG file. The image or drawing will show up in the site plan if it is in PNG, JPEG, or JPG format. If it is a PDF file, you can pick and select individual pages in the Select Drawings window. It will take a few seconds to upload, and once uploaded, you can view the drawing in your site plan. On the right side panel, you can view the name of your drawing at the top, and you have the option to rename it. The timeline function will allow you to define the first and final milestone in which the drawings will be visible. The Disconnect from Timeline checkbox determines whether the drawing will be included in the simulation timeline or going to be used as a reference only. The Opacity slider defines the transparency of the drawing in the 3D space. To remove the white background in your drawing, turn on the Remove White Background feature. This works best for black and white drawings. Turn on the Project on Terrain feature to wrap the selected drawing onto the top layer of the map, which works for both topographic or flat maps. You can use several options to position the drawing accordingly in CM Builder. We recommend you use the 2D mode to prevent any perspective distortion. Use the Move and Rotate buttons to manually change the position of the drawing. Use the Manual Scale option to manually edit the size of the drawing. Simply drag the blue markers on the drawing in the viewer to set a specific physical dimension. You can also choose a scale from the drop-down list and apply it to your drawing. The Scale by Distance method will allow you to scale the drawing based on the distance between two points. As a rule of thumb, try to find a dimension markup, a scale index or a known measurement for this calibration. Then simply select two alignment points on the drawing and enter the distance between them to scale. Edit the opacity as desired and check the Save Opacity box to keep the opacity. Next, the Align and Position method will allow you to scale and position using alignment points selected on both the drawing and the map. Temporary hide all surrounding buildings from the map to make it easy to see the image on your map. Click Align and Position, and a split screen interface will appear. The left side of the screen displays the map, while the right side shows the drawing. You can adjust the split screen to customize the screen sizes. Locate the icon button at the center and slide left or right to expand or shrink the respective screens accordingly. To begin, you need to pick two locations where your map and drawing have matching identifiable shapes or points to reference. Place the first anchor point D1 on the drawing side and then move your cursor onto the left map side to place the corresponding matching map point M1. Placing just D1 and M1 will position your drawing but it will not rotate or scale the drawing and it will generally be less accurate than using all four points. Similarly, place the second anchor point D2 on the drawing and the corresponding point M2 on the map. Once all four points are placed, the drawing aligns and positions itself on the map. Slide the opacity control back and forth to check how accurately the drawing is aligned on the map. You can also drag the points around to adjust their location and the drawing will update accordingly. To reposition any point, locate the reposition icon on the respective point card. You can also clear all selected points and start fresh by clicking Reset All Points. Under the Geolocate Points section, you can update the coordinates for your points. Once M1 and M2 are set, the fields becomes enabled, allowing you to enter coordinates. This lets you geolocate your drawing if you know the coordinate systems of two points on the map. Use the Don't Change Scale checkbox to maintain the original scale of the drawing. Once done, click the Confirm button to complete the process and return to the drawing sheet. Lastly, the Snap to Drawing function allows you to reuse the position of a previous located drawing as reference for your current alignment. 
This will only work properly if the elements on both drawings are equally positioned according to the page boundaries. You can upload multiple drawings into your site plan. You can view all your drawings in the tree under the Drawing Overlay category. To edit, download or remove a drawing from the scenario, hover over the drawing in the tree and click the three dots to access the respective options. You can also lock or temporarily hide the drawing using the corresponding buttons in the More menu. The Disconnect from Timeline checkbox determines whether the drawing is included in your simulation timeline or used only as a reference. You can access the disconnected drawings by going to the drawing shortcut at the top of the page. Simply click a drawing to quickly hide or show it at any given milestone as needed. That marks the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next tutorial video.